We're Slick Rock Productions, and this is my friend Brooks. Well, Brooks owns a local shop called ProTech here. Um, this is a dune guy. Um, this guy's a turbo guy. He uh, builds a lot of fast cars. He's on the top 10 list here in Utah. This guy knows his way around some horsepower, but we've done a lot of rock crawling together. We've done a lot of trail riding together. Um, we've been in, in a lot of great places and a lot of sticky situations together. And that's kind of what I want to talk about a little bit today. Um, we're out testing cars, we're testing stock cars, stock components, aftermarket parts. We're pushing everything to the limits to find its breaking point. And when we do that, we're looking for companies and we're looking for products that are, that are uh, superior over factory stuff. And in doing that, we end up in a lot of situations where we're pushing the limits quite a bit. There's a lot of times we're sitting out there and we're looking at a ledge we know we can climb, we're looking at a trail that we know we can tackle, something we want to jump and sometimes things don't always work out as planned, right? I think we've both been there. So Kirk, the one thing I want to stress to the consumer out there, the first thing they should be buying, in my opinion, I think yours, because we've both been in these situations, is the, is the cage. Absolutely. You know, the funny thing is, is we watch guys and you know they spend money on wheels and tires, stereos, right. wraps, I mean all kinds of stuff. Right. But Makes really it, look good. it does look good, but really the cage is the most important safety feature out there. Absolutely. There's been many times we've wrecked stock cars, we've wrecked aftermarket cars, and you know, the cage is really the thing that protects you and it protects your family. You ride around with your kids, you ride around with your wives, and nobody plans on a wreck. You remember that one time you said, Hey, watch me roll? <laughs> yeah. No. It yeah. never happens, no. you know, it just it just, it just kind of happens. There's always accidents, and there's been lots of uh, places where we've wrecked cars, stuff we've done over and over again, and sometimes things just don't work out, and you cannot predict that. And so there is, in every state, there is great fab guys. Um, we have them here in Utah, you know, uh, Sandworks, RSK, uh, Vent, um, Gilly Fab. I mean, these guys all build phenomenal cages, and they protect us. They keep us that we safe. we all use, yeah. yeah. We, we've, we've been in a few machines as of late on accident um, with stock cages and we've rolled them and they don't hold up as well as it turns they out. Just don't, yeah. And it is a really important safety feature. One of the top, you know, on, on my yeah, list, the cage absolutely. is the very first thing that should go on a car. So that being said, you and I take a lot of calculated risks out on the trail, you know, and when we're going out to be extreme, we suit up, you Absolutely. know, we wear helmets, we wear harnesses, and we make sure that we're, you know, doing our very best to be safe when we know we're going to get crazy. But, you know, there's times when we're out rock crawling and we're kind of doing the slow control. And, you know, if the risk of, is rolling over once in, in a lot of areas that we don't wear a helmet, some of that's because we're communicating with each other as a spotter but we don't recommend that to anybody you should always think safety first and so you know that video you just watched of that can going end over end cartwheeling that had a factory cage on it it was a factory reinforced cage but a factory cage our plan was we bought a fleet of of these can ams um to put in our slick rock arsenal and we've been really excited to test these cars and we wanted to go out and we wanted to push the limits with them factory we wanted to test them stock and so although that cage was reinforced you know, we talked about this. We we're like, we're going to go out. We're going to take a mellow on them. We're just going to, we're going to crawl them and jump them a little bit. But that's not in our DNA. It's not what we do. Every time we go out, we find something to push the boundary a little farther. And so we have decided that we are not letting a machine out of our shop again without an aftermarket cage. The risk is just too great. Because once again, you don't plan on a wreck. You don't plan on rolling. Nobody ever does. It just, it happens. And with guys like us, it probably happens a little more frequently. We've demolished quite a few cars this year. Right. But we like to push those limits. And in doing that, we know that we want to be safe. You want to protect the occupants of your car. You want to protect yourself. So when you're looking at building a car, think safety first. A cage should be one of the very first things that you invest in. If you don't have a local guy, reach out to one of our guys. They build some of the best cages on the planet. And so, you know, seat belts, helmets, um, aftermarket cages. We want everybody to be safe out there. We don't want to see anybody get hurt. So uh, be safe out there and we'll catch you on the trails. All right. So real quick, I was thinking about going and jumping the Can-Am. Maybe be the first one to kick, flip, or cartwheel. When I think about you jumping something, what do I think about? Mm -hmm. 